Hey guys, so it's been, at the time I'm filming this, it's been just over a day since they announced the new Doctor and the kind of feedback that they've gotten for what the, um, the after the announcement of the new Doctor is quite, it's, they've, they've set up two camps, they've people that have, are happy that it's a female and you've got people that are telling everyone that it's going to be terrible, Doctor Who's going to lose all its ratings, it's going to be this, this, this and this. So I just wanted to put in my own, um, like I just wanted to jump on the bad bandwagon and actually put in my own um, ideas and like kind of thoughts on the topic. And personally, I've never seen um, <clears throat> what Jodie Whittaker has been in before, but that doesn't mean that she can't be a great doctor because she. That's, that's the thing, she's going to be the Doctor now. A lot of people thought that the um, Peter Capaldi was going to be a terrible Doctor because he's too old, he's too this, the show's going to... But he was probably one of the greatest Doctors and he's definitely one of my favourite that it, that have uh, been on as the Doctor in the recent times because he just... His uh, acting was just so brilliant and it made the... It fit into the storyline. It's not the... Um, it's not so much that she is probably she's um, had so much feedback from other the other doctors, other actors that have said she's a brilliant thing. So I'm gonna I, that's the thing. I'll hold my judgment of her as a doctor until I see her for a season. Then I'm, then I can say whether or not I like her or not. But at the moment I can't say anything because she has not been. Um, I haven't seen what she's been in, and I'm not gonna just disclaim it for the fact that she's a uh, female because they've had. Because it's not that's the thing. The time lords can be both male and female. That's why you've got the master who's been male for most of the time, and then he turns into Missy, and everyone loved that. But when it turns in the other way around, I, I that's the thing I don't understand. Why why is it such a bad thing for the doctor to be a female, but not so much for the master? It's like just because of the bad guy that they are less relatable, and that's what I've just been thinking about. And I just thought that I should uh, share my. Uh, ideas and opinions on the topic and say that people should hold off their judgments until they actually see her perform as a doctor because you might you never know she could be you know this could be the best doctor that has ever come and or she could be the worst but that's the thing we won't know until she actually performs as the doctor but I have high hopes that she'll be a brilliant doctor and it's that's the thing for a show that is about change I reckon the Doctor Who fans are probably one of the least uh, forgiving when it comes to a certain massive change to the show which I find rather like hilarious because that's the whole premise of the show is that it's change and, and change is good and all this kind of stuff so change came and it's not a moment too soon that it has come and that's a good thing change is always good and I can't wait to see what this new era of the Doctor Who universe will bring and as always guys stay safe Peace.